Hey guys, welcome back to Comic Gun TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show, we're taking a look at the pop movie 744 Walmart exclusive Dr. Peter Venkman covered in marshmallow. Alright, so as I said, this is the pop movie 744 Ghostbusters Walmart exclusive Dr. Peter Venkman covered in marshmallow. And we'll go ahead and bring in the box. I just got done filming the Bob Wiley review, so I've already got the other Peter Venkman out of the box. So we'll just bring in the box for right now. And as you can see, they are the same number. Uh, of course, this one is the 35th Anniversary Edition box. Um, this one is the Walmart exclusive, non-35th Anniversary Edition. But overall, the boxes, other than the 35th Anniversary logo, they are completely identical. So we'll move the box back out of the way. And here we have... Dr. Egon Spangler, Dr. Peter Venkman, Dr. Ray Stans, Winston Zeddemore, Slimer, and the Scary Library Ghost. So let's go ahead and open the box up, and we'll take a look at Peter, and then compare him to the 35th Anniversary Edition, as well as the Firehouse Edition. Now, just like with the 35th Anniversary Edition, he does come with the clips... Uh, I don't think the original came with the clips on the clamshell. Uh, I could be wrong. I don't have the original. Um, but I think all the older pops, uh, none of them had the clips on the clamshell. So here he is in all his glory. And I really think... Sorry about that, guys. Let me go ahead and aim this down a little bit. I really think they should have probably uh, used a different mold for this Venkman because in the movie I don't believe he had his proton wand out uh, after he was uh, covered in the marshmallow fluff or for those of you who didn't know the shaving cream in the uh, film they used tons of shaving cream and the reason Peter Venkman didn't have much on him uh, the reason given by ca uh, cast and those who worked on the film is because Murray actually had an allergic reaction to the shaving cream. So they, they put the bare minimum on him. And in, in the film, it makes sense that he would kind of protect himself more than the other guys because he was, he was quite narcissistic. <laughs> um, not really a straight on narcissist. He was more self I don't really know how to explain it, but he, he really had nar some narcissistic characteristics. Uh, and as you can see, his proton pack is covered in the marshmallow as well. You got some splattered on his boots and pants. And as you can see, all it is is white paint. It's not sculpted on or anything, it's just white paint. And I really like how they made it look like it was dripping down <laughs> off of him. It was really nice, actually. I really like that. I wish I would have gotten it. Um, but I wasn't sure. S especially since I already had two Venkmans. And here is the 35th anniversary uh, edition of the character. As you can see, the sculpts are exactly the same. The only thing different is the paint job. And then let me open up the uh, Peter Venkman with Firehouse, if I can get it open without tearing it up. And see, they really should have just used this Peter Venkman because the, the marshmallow is already sculpted in 
and he's got the he's got the scorch marks on him and his proton wand is hanging down on his belt so there we have peter vankman in all his glory my favorite ghostbuster out of all four uh, out of every incarnation of the ghostbusters vankman has always been my favorite don't ask me why i just i've always wished i could be more like him um i know that's kind of a weird thing to say but i i i've always enjoyed bill murray's dry humor uh his sarcasm uh, I think if they would have done a new Ghostbusters maybe 10 years ago, uh, maybe even 20 years ago for that matter, they could have got uh, Ryan Reynolds to play young uh, to play Oscar as an adult, and he could. Uh, they could have had Peter and Dana raise him together, and you would have really seen Oscar with more of a Vankman uh, personality <laughs> if Ryan Reynolds would have played him. Uh, in fact, I did a fan casting on uh, a website several years ago, and Ryan Reynolds was the uh, character, was the actor I thought should, uh, if they completely rebooted the franchise and got new actors to play Vinkman, Stans, Spangler, and Zedmore, Reynolds would have been the, my choice to play Vinkman. Uh, I also chose Neil Patrick Harris. Neil Patrick Harris to play Egon. Uh, I, I think that would have been a really awesome fan casting. Uh, but anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed our Bill Murray week on Come Again Pop Review. Hope to see you back next week. We are going to be doing a lot more History and Origins videos, so make sure you tune in for that. And also be sure to head over to Greg's channel, Cool Classics, which will be linked at the end of the video. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Comic Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.